Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is GC. For those of you who don't know me or any new subscribers or anything like that, so today I decided to create this beautiful cut crease, perfect timing for the fall. Um, if you guys want to see how I ended up creating this look, just keep on watching. So I already prepped my skin with my Witch Hazel. Um, this is the one that has no alcohol. Uh, it's my favorite and it's like cucumber scented and I honestly love this product. So I just went ahead and sprayed it all over my face. Then I went ahead with my Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. And honestly guys, this is bomb. And then to prime, I went ahead with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to prime up everything. And this product is amazing as well. So for today's video, we're gonna start the application process a little bit different. So what I'm actually gonna do today, I'm gonna start um, foundation first. And I'm gonna be using my infallible L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation first. I've honestly been loving this foundation. Just the way that it leaves the skin like looking like is amazing. We'll see at the end how beautiful this it um leaves the skin looking it's like a matte finish full coverage very full coverage as you guys could see the difference already and i am a little bit pale right now and for the fall usually i like to be a little bit tanner just because of like the warm tones and stuff like that so i am using a little bit of a darker shade so don't come at me for using a darker shade i know it's dark and i'm doing it on purpose um so yeah Okay, so once I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to go ahead with my Tarte Concealer. So you guys know this is like my ride or die like concealer. I've been using this concealer for like so many freaking videos now, it's not even funny. I just don't find a concealer that matches like what this concealer is on. Like whatever this concealer has is, is honestly like it's history like I don't think anything will beat it to be honest um and yeah it's been one of my favorite concealers if you guys see that your foundation is too dark you can obviously brighten it up with your concealer which is what I kind of do all the time like even though I do a dark base I always lighten it up with my concealer so that's a really good tip Okay, so I'm back blending everything together, and now we're gonna go ahead and put some powder. So I usually use my Huda Beauty, that is my go-to powder, but I am like out. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, there's nothing in there. Like, I'm out of this powder completely. So I'm going to be using this one by uh per cos per cosmetics it's vegan and um they have a lot of like good products i've heard a lot of good things about them so we're just gonna use that powder the huda beauty one is a little bit more um heavy which is what i like about it but it leaves like such a beautiful like satin finish bro i literally look like a freaking ghost bitch i'm a ghost i don't know Okay, I need to stop. So today we're using this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm so excited to use her. It's my first time using her. So Nikita times Morphe. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna use is Artificial, which is like this like brown right here. It's not really, yeah, it's like a brown, like orangey color. So we're just gonna go with that and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a cut crease, so I'm just gonna go ahead and then start doing it like right here in the towards the center and then just kind of drag it out. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead with this color, which is like a little bit warmer, 
toned. Um, it's called Temptation. And then we're just going to continue adding it from the mid outwards. From the center of the lid right there. Outwards. So now we're going to go ahead and go with Prima Donna right here. It's like this darker brown. And I'm just going to go ahead and bend it like the outer corner of this lid for my cut crease I'm gonna do it there and just end it with the darker color so this is so far what I have gotten I started with a um, bright orange, then like a little toasty color, and then like a brown at the end. So what I'm going to do now is cut the crease. And this is what's going to make this look. I'm going to use my Tarte Concealer like always. So now just to set the crease in place so the concealer doesn't like start creasing or anything I'm just gonna use um this shade right here which is like a, a similar shade to my own skin tone and we're just gonna set it with this one right here it's called um augmented Okay guys, so I added a little bit of glitter on the cut crease um, with my Pretty in Pretty Rich palette from Too Faced Cosmetics. And yeah, so what I basically did was just get a little bit of that glitter and then just kind of like pat it like right there and then just kind of drag it along the cut crease so that's what I've been doing and I like how it's coming out so far and then now I think I'm going to be doing a brown liner to top this look off um I'm pretty excited on how the um brown liner is gonna come out so this is how it's coming out with the brown liner um so I'm gonna go ahead with the same color I used on like right here on the outer corner of the cut crease which was um Prima Donna yeah Prima Donna right there that one and then I'm just gonna go ahead kind of set that eyeliner before it dries so it's like kind of like a smoked eyeliner in a way okay guys so now I have finished both eyes I ended up doing the brown liner with the Milani stay put matte eyeliner and then I also just smoked it out with the same exact brown I used for the top I just smoked it out as you can see and now we're moving along with the lashes I'm going to be using lashes in Miami from Lily Lashes, one of my favorite lashes. Okay guys, so I have applied my lashes, um, so now we're going to just wipe all the excess of the um, eyeshadow look, which is a lot. We're just going to wipe, Ooh, look at that, clean as hell. Damn, shawty. Okay, so now I just retouched my brows. So first thing we're going to go ahead and jump to is bronzer. So I use the Too Faced Cosmetics. I've been using it for a long time now, so you already know that. Okay, so now with the same exact bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and do my nose contour with that bronzer. And now with the same brown that I used on my crease, I'm going to go ahead and do my lower, um, my lower shadow with that same exact brown. Okay, so once I'm done with that bottom, um, shadow, I'm going to go ahead and do some black eyeliner. Add some blush. 
So my all-time fave is Kylie Cosmetics in the shade We're Going Shopping. That is my favorite blush. Like, honestly, I haven't found a blush that I like as much as this one. It's amazing. So, I'm just going to put a little bit. Okay, guys. And last but not least, we're going to be doing lips. And for lips... We're going to be using the new Kylie Cosmetics, her leopard collection. It is amazing. And this is called Can't Be Tamed. We love it. Okay, so I finished applying the lip liner. Now we're gonna go ahead with the lipstick. And to finish this look off, we're gonna go ahead with our all nighter spray and lock it in. Okay guys, so here we have the final glam. So this is what I came up with. Um, it is like a cut crease, um, a very warm tone cut crease with glitter on the lids. And yeah, perfect for this fall time, for Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, anything like that. And if you guys absolutely loved how this video came out, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.